So this is kind of a classic calculus problem. We've got Jane offshore in a boat, and she wants to get to the village. So we've got this straight shoreline. And offshore out here is Jane in her boat. It's two miles. And then once she got in, she'd have to go six miles down shore to the village here. So now the problem is she doesn't row very fast. She can walk faster. So one option would be for her to row all the way, which is probably going to be the worst idea because she'd be rowing the maximum distance. Um, or you could think, well, maybe she should row straight in, right? Just do as little rowing as possible and then walk. But I don't think that's going to actually be the best choice because with if she just changed the angle slightly, she wouldn't row that much further, but she could cut off quite a bit of walking distance. So I think that Jane's going to be able to save time if she lands somewhere down shore here. Let's call that distance that so she's going to land down shore x. Now what we're trying to do, we want to do the least amount of time. Um, when you're moving, rate times time is distance. So the time it takes is going to be the distance you go divided by the rate. In her case, the time that it takes is going to be um, the distance that she rows divided by the rate that she rows, which is 2, plus the distance that she walks divided by the rate that she walks, um, which is 5 miles per hour. So this is going to be her total time. Time to row plus the time to walk. Um, now we have these two quantities, the distance that she rows and the distance that she walks, but they're both related to x. First, the distance that she rows is part of a right triangle here. So um, we know that uh, 2 squared plus x squared, so that would be 4 plus x squared, is the distance that she rows squared. So the square root of 4 plus x squared is the distance that she rows. We can also see the distance that she walks is um, what's left over of the 6 miles from the part that she cut off, which is x. So the distance that she walks is 6 minus x. So with that, we can write t, the time it takes her, as a function of x, where she lands down shore here. So that's going to be the distance that she rows, square root of 4 plus x squared, all over um, 2, because she rows at 2 miles an hour plus the distance that she walks, which is 6 minus x, all over 5. Now we have some bounds on x. Obviously, x doesn't, shouldn't be negative. If x were negative, she'd be landing over here and walking further than she needed to. So we know x is going to be greater than or equal to 0. Um, also, um, x wouldn't be any more than 6, right? That would be if she rode straight over. So all we have to do is uh, find any critical points for this function and evaluate those in the endpoints and see which one gives us the shortest time. Now let's start by solving for critical points. I have dt dx. If we take the derivative of this, is to the 1 half power. So the 1 half comes down. And we have um, 1 over 4 times this uh, to the negative 1 half makes a negative in the exponent, so negative 1 half. So that exponent goes downstairs. We have to multiply by the derivative of what's inside. The derivative of 4 plus x squared is 2x. And the derivative here, this is 6 fifths minus 1 fifth x, so that's minus 1 fifth. So what we're, what we're going to try to do here is to figure out where is the derivative 0 or undefined. Now, it's nice and defined everywhere. We can't divide by 0 because this number is always at least 2. So all that could happen is the derivative could be 0. We could get that kind of critical point. Now. Um, now to solve this problem, let's say I'm going to reduce. This 2 goes in there and leaves me 2. So if I solve this, set this equal to 0 and solve, I have x over 2 times the square root of 4 plus x squared um, equals 1 fifth. I'm going to multiply both sides by 10 and by the square root of 4 plus x squared. If I multiply this side by 10 and the square root of 4 plus x squared, I'm going to get 5x on the left. On the right, if I multiply by 10, I get 2. And then I get the square root of 4 plus x squared. Oh, maybe I sh should have uh, just multiplied both sides by 5. If I go one more step here, 5 halves x is this square root. 
Now when you're solving a problem involving square roots, you can just square both sides. You gotta watch out for um, solutions that don't work. Because uh, when you square both sides of an equation, you can introduce extraneous solutions. If we square this, we get 25 over 4 times x squared equals 4 plus x squared. If I take x squared away from both sides, we have 25 fourths um, minus 4 fourths would be 21 fourths. So 21 fourths x squared equals 4. So x squared, if I multiply by 4 and divide by 21, x squared is 16 over 21. So x would be plus or minus the square root of 16 over 21. However, we can see that the minus 1 is an extraneous solution because 2 times the square root of 4 plus x squared would have to be, pos would have to be positive, and so x must be positive. So eliminate that. So basically, we get this one solution. One critical point, x equals 4 over root 21. Let me go to another, the next slide to figure out what to, to, to write out the rest here, what to do with our critical point. So we know that um, the time it takes for the row is uh, the square root of 4 plus x squared over 2 plus 6 minus x over 5. We, we know that x has to be between 0 and 6, between not going down short at all and, and rowing all the way to the village. And we know that there's a critical point right here at uh, 4 over root 21. So since we have a continuous function on a closed bounded interval, we just have to figure out the time it takes at each of those values. For example, when um, For example, when um, x equals 0, so the time when x equals 0 is going to be, if x is 0, we have the square root of 4, which is 2. 2 over 2 is 1, plus 6 fifths. So we have 5 fifths plus 6 fifths is 11 fifths. That's a little bit more than 2 hours, right? So 2.2 .2 hours in, uh, in that case. At the other end point, when x is 6, this is 0, and uh, 6 squared is 36, plus 4 is 40, so we have the square root of 40 over 2. Of course, 4, t 4 is a perfect square, and this is 4 times 10, so we have 2 root 10 over 2. So that's the square root of 10. That's more than 3, so this is even longer. That was the case when she rolled, rowed all the way, and she's not a very fast rower in the water there. Now. And the last case was at our critical point, 4 over root 21. Let's plug that in and see what we get for our time. So we have um, x squared, which would be 16 over 21, plus 4. Uh, 4 is 84 over 21, so we have the square root of 100 over 21, plus 6 fifths here, and minus x over 5, minus... Uh, 4 over 5 root 21. Now what we need to do is simplify this so we can see if it uh, see if this is indeed the the shortest time. I kind of suspect it is, but this would be 10 over root 21 divided by 2, which would be 5 over root 21. And then we have the 6 fifths. Okay. And then we have minus uh, 4 over 5 root 21. Now what I want to do is maybe combine these two fractions that both have the root 21. To do that, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 5. If you multiply 5 by 5, you get 25 up top and 5 downstairs. So we have um, 25 over 5 root 21 minus 4 would be 21 over 5 root 21 plus um, 6 fifths. Okay, and actually, if I multiply top and bottom by root 21, I'd get root 21 over 5 plus 6 fifths. Now, square root of 21 is less than 5. So if we have a number less than 5 divided by 5, this is less than 1. So we know that this is definitely less than 1 plus 6 fifths, which was our, which was, uh, our next lowest time, right? So we had, we had root 10 as a possible time. That's more than 3. We had this time, which was... Um, 11, 1 plus 6 fifths, 11 fifths. And then notice that this one has to be less than that. So this gives us our minimum time. Okay, so what we found is that she should land she should land um, 
x equals 4 over root 21 miles down the shore towards the village. It was a five mile, or a, no, it was a six mile trip down the shore. So let's see, square to 21, um, that is more than four, because the square to 16 would be four. So this is, a, this is a little less than a mile down the beach. So she should come in a little less than a mile down the beach and then walk the rest of the way. Remember, she's a faster walker. So the idea was, though, that rather than row straight in, she could make a small uh, small change in the distance she rode would cut off about 4 over root 21 of the walk and that would make give her the fastest possible time.